Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this will be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 versus Fox News Thoughts. It was going to be a rant number 68, but I'm just too tired to do a rant. So without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. This game was anticipated by gamers, critics, Call of Duty fans, and the whole 10 yards, you name them, you got it. Before the game even came out, Infantry War was facing some criticisms by the Xbox 360 gamers, such as they expressed concern about Infantry War's decision to remove the ability to use party chat while playing multiplayer games. Fans have criticized this decision as a result of the players hearing excessive quantities of racial slurs, vulgarities, and other inappropriate conversations about over 5,000 to 6,000. Uh, signatures on online petition. As for the PC gamers of Modern Warfare 2, well, <clears throat> they are very irate with them as of right now. And they still are. For the deficiency of dedicated servers, uh, lack of console commands, lack of support for matches larger than 18 players, and the inability to vote towards kicking or banning cheating players immediately as a result of all that, they have over 200,000 signatures online petitioning. So, <clears throat> and Infantry War had to face, you know, that frat, what was it? Fight against grenade spamming video, which is a gay slur, with Philadelphia Phillies pitcher Col Colt Hamels, which is supposed to be a joke. As the game came out, which is four or five days ago, everyone's loving it and they enjoying it, and that's all it matters, right? Right? Well, most of them. <clears throat> Some of them, like the news industry, want to get oversensitive. <sighs> Including Great Britain's House of C Commons. Disturbing content in the early level in the Modern Warfare 2 entitled No Russian has the player assumed the control of a CIA agent who is undercover joining a group of terrorists during an attack uh, of innocent civilians at an airport. <clears throat> a player is given the option to skip the level at any point. Did you hear what I just said? Do you want me to repeat that, Fox News? Sheesh. X-Play on G4 TV has described the level as the present in the game, not for added shock value, but rather as an important catalyst to the overall plot of the game. The game was discussed briefly in Britain's House of Commons after the issue was brought to the attention of MP Keith Vaz, a longtime opponent of violence in video games. <clears throat> okay. I have two thoughts on this now. The reason why I love Call of Duty so much is because of Infantry War. They're really smart, and they know how to make great games. They know how to keep gamers entertained, and Modern Warfare 2 is is the perfect example. Granted, I hadn't played the game yet, but once I rent the game, <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it, and that's all that, that's all that counts for me. I'm going to get my money's worth. Then I'll go buy it. I don't know if I should get the 360 or the PS3 version, but that's beyond size the point. Infantry War took some serious, serious risk <clears throat> with Modern Warfare 2. And uh, No Russian, which came out of the middle of nowhere for me and other gamers as well. And they pull it off. And I commend them for that. I commend them for taking... A risk, high risk, high reward sometimes, right? Uh, most video game developers won't even dare take a risk. Why? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, I just, they, they just made great games. And like I said, Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is the perfect example. And now, like I said, Modern Warfare 2. Sorry for leaving that game out. <clears throat> so, is the the 
the uh, execution of the game, the the um what was it? The whole setting of it is a is it disturbing? Yeah, but it's also telling you that you're playing as a CIA agent who's going undercover joining a terrorist organization. Okay. Like I said, you have an option to skip the level at any point. Okay. Seems to me that Fox News don't understand at all. For if they did, they have no business getting I mean, not getting. No, they they have no business being oversensitive. That's a fact. Not an opinion. I hate using that, but it's the truth. Now, number fact, not fact. Number, uh, thought number two. <laughs> Fox News just blew this thing up for no good parent reason, and <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't. I mean, everyone's all acting shocked, getting angry, and everything over Modern Warfare 2. It's just so beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh, a child can play a game. A kid can play, pick up and play the game at any time. Um, yeah, if the parents buy the game for them. If the parents, or should I say parents, are ignorant enough to go out and spend their hard-earned money on an M-rated game for their kids that is a that's their problem okay and here's another thing violence has been around since what planet earth existed why is Fox News acting all shocked all of a sudden well, we don't want violence in video games. It's bad for children. But yet you want but yet you can have violence in movies, TV shows, books, music. But it's okay. It's been around a, a, a heck of a lot longer than than video games. How beautiful. Double standard. Just, just beautiful. Another thing, why is it okay for for movies, books, and TV shows can do like what Infantry Wars Modern Warfare 2 with the CIA agent infiltrating the terrorist organization. No one complains about that at all. But a video but when it comes to a video game like Modern Warfare 2, everybody is going absolutely bonkers. Let alone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over it. Double standards, oh my god. That's my main pet peeve. Double standards, hypocrisies, it just drives me nuts. And you want to talk about fair and balanced Fox News? Are you for real? Debate. To consider something, deliberate. In, to engage in argument by discussing opposing points. To engage in a form of discussion or argument. To deliberate on, consider, to dispute or argue about. To discuss or argue. A discussion involving opposing points and argument. Seems to me that you didn't do that. If you did, you would have let John Christensen from SlasherGamer.com a chance. You would give him a chance to, you know, talk. You did, but you two, you, you and the other guests were too busy uh, b bashing him back to Stone Age. It, oh my goodness, Fox News! What are you doing? fair and balance we report you decide okay on that report on Modern Warfare 2 I think it was full of hot air it was crap garbage pathetic and this downright disgusting you understand me I wish news industry would stop reporting on games. I really do. Because every time they do it, they go absolutely bonkers. They go absolutely bonkers. And they don't think straight. They say, oh, this game is vile. Why the kids are playing it? Here's a, here's a key point. News industry includes you, Fox News. 
it's M rated game. Why is a child even touching the game in the first place? <sighs> oh, wow. Um, my final thought. Uh, before I get on out of here. Infantry Ward, do your thing. Keep making great games. Don't let anyone tell you. And Fox News, report something that matters. Uh, well, don't you have plans to to get President Obama a peach and bring in Sarah Palin in the White House or something? You got better things to do than going after video games? Yeah, go do that. And with that, I'm out. <laughs>